हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल अलीशा मैथ्स क्लासेस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्व दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर सेवन इंटीग्रेशन और वी कॉल इट एंटी डेरिवेटिव एक्चुअली दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन दैट इज दिस इज रिवर्स प्रोसेस ऑफ डिफ्रेंसिएशन दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एंटी डेरीवेटिव लेट एस सी हाउ All of you know that if we will differentiate any function with respect to x, let us take a function that is f x, then we get f dash x. So now, in mathematics, you know that the reverse of addition is subtraction, the reverse of multiplication is division. In the same way, when this d by d x, that is differential differentiation operator, will be shifted to the right hand side, it will become the operator of integration. So. this symbol is the operator for integration and this will be shifted to the right hand side and it becomes fx is equal to integration of this function f dash x with respect to x so this is the meaning of integration that whenever we will different integrate any function that is the differentiation of any function so we get a function itself plus always a constant c actually the part we are doing in integration that covers indefinite integral there are two types of integration that is indefinite integral and definite integral indefinite integral includes this c actually this c is a constant and we are not sure about the value of this c so that is why this is called indefinite integral later on after 7.8 exercise we will learn how to do the questions based on definite integral there we don't write down down this c so that's why this is called indefinite integral indefinite integral so now we will learn the formulas of integration with with the help of differentiation so let us see how and after that we will do the questions of exercise 7.1 so students now we will learn the formulas of different integration with the help of the differentiation I, here i have divided the board into two parts just to make you understand about the relationship between the formulas of differentiation as well as integration so let us see the first formula which you have done in the differentiation is d by dx of x is 1 so this is the formula all of you know that the derivative of x with respect to x x is 1 so in the same way when i will shift this differential operator on the right hand side it will become integration of the one function 1 with respect to x so the answer will be x plus c as i told you that th this is the part we are doing in definite integral so always whenever we will integrate we will put a c here for a constant of integration the next is d by dx of x raised to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 is x raised to power n you can do the derivative of this function and you will get x raised to power n let us see All of you know that d by dx of x raised to power n is n x raised to power n minus one. So I am just proving here how it is the derivative of x raised to power n. One upon n plus one is a constant, so we can take it outside. So x raised to power n plus one when when we will differentiate this n plus one will come in the multiplication and the power of x will be reduced by one. So n plus one minus one will be n. And this n plus one will be cancelled by n plus one, and the answer is x s to power n. So in the same way, we will just see here that d by dx of x s to power n plus one upon n plus one is x s to power n. So when I will shift this differential operator on the right hand side, so I get the formula of integration of x s to power n dx is equal to x s to power n plus one upon n plus one plus c. now the next formula is d by dx of e raised to power x is e raised to power x this is one of the most simplest formula as we don't need to learn anything the differential the derivative of the function exponential function with respect to x is the same exponential function 
in the same way the integration of the function e raised to power x with respect to x will remain same that is e raised to power x plus as usual the constant of integration that is c so moving on to next formula that is the derivative of the function with respect to x log x the derivative of log x with respect to x is 1 by x so same way Shifting it to the right hand side, the integral operator on 1 by x dx will give you log x plus c. Will give you log x plus c. Next formula, the derivative of a raised to power x is a raised to power x into log a. This is the formula you have done in the differentiation. The derivative of the function a raised to power x where a is a constant is a raised to power x into log a. So, here when I will shift this differential operator on the right hand side, this will become integration of a raised to power x dx. As this is log a is a constant, so I have shifted this log a to the left hand side and it will become 1 upon log a into a raised to power x. So, answer is a raised to power x upon log a plus as usual c where c is a constant of integration. One, form, one thing that you have to just think here that the value of n cannot be equal to 1 because if n is equal to minus 1 then the denominator becomes 0 which is not defined. So here you have to write on the condition that n cannot be equal to 1. Moving on to next formula that is derivative of sin x is cos x. These all formulas you have done in your chapter number 5 and 6. You have done the differentiation as well as the applications of derivatives in chapter number 5 and 6. So I am not explaining this. I am just explaining this integration formula. Again shifting this to the right hand side. The integration of cos x with respect to x is sin x. The integration of cos x with respect to x is sin x plus c. The next is the derivative of cos x is minus sin x so what will be the integration of sin x it will be minus will be shifted to here it will be minus cos x plus c so the integration of sin x will be minus cos x plus c please remember here that they are the opposite sign in derivatives the derivative of sin is positive and cos is negative but in integration everything is reserve reverse sorry the integration of cos is positive whereas the integration of sin is negative. Please note down these formulas. The next formula is in derivative of the derivative of tan x is secant square x. So the integration of secant square x with respect to x will be sin x. So you can say that you don't need to learn the formula you are just evaluating the formula from the formulas of differentiation which we have already learned. And the, by, by practice you will learn these formulas also when you will do the lot of practice of this integration you will remember these all these formulas in your mind. So the next is the derivative of cosecant x is minus cosecant x cot x. So same way the integration of cosecant x cot x will be this minus will be shifted to the left hand side so it will be minus cosecant x plus c. So writing the next formula the integration of cosecant x cot x dx is equal to minus cosecant x plus c. Now the next formula the derivative of secant x is secant x tan x. So in the same way proceeding like that the shifting this differential operator on the right hand side the integration operator on secant x tan x with respect to x with respect to x will give you secant x plus c will give you secant x plus c and the last formula for the trigonometric function that is cot x all of you know that the, know that the derivative of the cot x is minus cosecant square x so the integration of cosecant square x will be minus cot x integration of cosecant square x with respect to x will be minus cot x plus c. So till now we have done all the formulas of trig trigonometric functions. Now we will move on to the formulas of inverse trigonometric functions. 
सो लेट एस सी हेयर द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ इनवर्स फंक्शन एक्स दैट इज साइन इनवर्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन रूट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर दैट यू हैव डन इन योर चैप्टर नंबर फाइव सो इन द सेम वे द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वन अपॉन रूट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू साइन इनवर्स एक्स प्लस सी सो राइटिंग डाउ दिस फॉर्मुला इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वन अपॉन रूट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू साइन इनवर्स एक्स प्लस सी सेम वे The derivative of cos inverse x is just the negative of the formula of sin inverse x that is equal to minus one upon root one minus x square. This is just the negative of this formula. So what can you evaluate from here? The integration of negative of this one upon root one minus x square is equal to the cos inverse x plus c. Or we can just evaluate here that the integration of one upon root one minus x square can be minus cos inverse x plus c also. So please remember this thing: the integration of one upon root one minus x square can be equal to the sine inverse x plus c also, as well as it can be minus cos inverse x plus c also. Same, you know that in the formulas of derivatives of tan inverse x and cot inverse x, both the formulas will give the same answer, but the signs are just of positive and negative sign. Let us see here the derivative. So the formula for the derivative of tan inverse x is. One upon one plus x square. So in the same way, the integration of one upon one plus x square with respect to x is tan inverse x plus c. Moving on to next formula, that is cot inverse x. Cot inverse x, which is just the negative of the formula of tan inverse x, which is equal to minus one upon one plus x square. so in the same way you can just see here that the formula will give you sin inverse x or it can give you minus cos inverse x in the same way the integration of this function will gives you will gives you either tan inverse x plus c or we can say that the integration of 1 upon 1 plus x square dx will give you minus cot inverse x plus c or we can say minus 1 upon 1 plus x square integration of this function with respect to x will be cot inverse x plus c please note down all these formulas so now the last two formulas of inverse functions are d by dx of secant inverse x is 1 upon x Square root of x square minus one. This is the formula of derivative of secant inverse x. So from here, from here we will get the integration formula for this function. That is one upon x square root of x square minus one with respect to x will give you secant inverse x plus c. Will give you secant inverse x plus c. And the last final one, which is cosecant inverse x. Now same way, this is the negative of secant inverse x. This is the negative of the secant inverse x. So from here we can evaluate that the integration of negative of this function will be equal to cosecant inverse x plus c. Or we can say that the integration of this function one upon x under root of x square minus one will be equal to minus cosecant inverse x. Or secant inverse x, both are correct. So please try to just understand these formulas. After that, we will do exercise seven point seven point one. Please note down these formulas. So students, I hope so that you have understood all these formulas of integration with the help of the differentiation. So now in our next video, we will learn. how to solve the questions of exercise 7.1 with the help of the formulas of integration so for that please watch our next video thank you so much